Absolutely. So here we go. Puck drop just about ready. First game of two, we hope, between Hidden Potential and ninth here on this broadcast. Let's see how this plays out there. Fox there with them. Good job by ninth to hold on to it. A little bit of trouble, though. Your pen's nowhere to go. Puck turned over. Short side stopped. Best chance of the game so far there. Nick Ved's denied. Still very much in the mix for this one. Another chance, and they score. CT has the opening goal of this game and hidden potential running the show right now. And CT doing what CT has done so well for so long, putting the puck in the net. And that's what hidden potential does. They dominate that possession. They'll wear you down. After a while, it's just so, so hard to keep a goal out of the net when they're able to push the issue for such an extended amount of time. They did so there and it gives them this early lead. CT one more time has this puck, loses it. Gosh, in possession, that one ends up on goal, paddled away. Loose puck poked out to the corner. Fox gets this one more time, shot, scores! Second of the game, make it two for CT off the one-timer. We'll take that. We talked about Nick Veds being a guy that comes in this season with hidden potential and being a player that can really make an impact there at that center spot with things moving back to D. And that's twice now a pass from Nick Veds to CT leads to a goal for hidden potential. A beautiful setup and a beautiful play gives him that, that double lead. A tremendous read. He's swimming at this point as the defense really struggled to settle down the puck. They have it down the other way now. Can they get a goal here off the kill? Yes, they can. A huge break there for ninth. A narrowly uh, successful kill. It turns into a goal down the other way. And who needs a replay? I don't know if he's going to get the assist for that, but credit the saves by Swag there in net to be able to turn that opportunity for ninth. That was a swing from three to nothing in favor of his potential to a two to one game where ninth got themselves back into this thing. It came off of those two big saves. Knight finally able to clear it out of their own zone, turn into an offensive opportunity, probably their best look all night. And boy, did they capitalize on it right there. That is exactly what the doctor ordered for this team. And Doogie, my friend, we've got ourselves a game. Beds there holding on to that one. Knocked off the puck. Ninth going down the other way. Over the line, Dings does a great job to shut that down. See what he can do. Does Infinity to join the rush there. He finds space with a huge burst of speed. And finds Shocks over on the other side. Hidden potential. Get that two goal lead back. We mentioned earlier, do not be surprised if you see Dings move up at that right D spot and push the issue. He's been a talented forward for years now. He moves back at defense with this hidden potential team for this tournament, and he has that ability to drive the play so well, and he does it again right there. Just uses that stick move into great space, finds his winger in shots that we know so well on that left side for open play. Swag just not able to get to that right post in time to read it, and hidden potential right back where they were a few minutes ago, exactly what they needed to not let life get that momentum. Beds for hidden potential down the other way. And the puck's broken up. Good interception there, though, by Dinks. Working Josh goes for the dump attempt here. Ninth all over that one. They send it down for the breakout pass. Chance, and he scores! And ninth right back to within one. And what a read! by Karch to get that flipped over to the middle accurately as well to the right winger in I believe that was, I want to say that that was must have fallen that got that one over. We've had our lineups kind of jumbled around throughout this game, but what a read to get that pass all the way over to mid ice. Perfectly plays, had the easy breakaway and took advantage of it to get that in. That was a beautiful play, beautiful stuff there by Knife, exactly what they needed to get back into this game. Finds its way cleanly, gets on that in general, stopping the glove save there that could have gotten them in a tie game. And with that, hidden potential, we'll see it through. Shocks, one last chance. He scores with point three to go. Insult to injury for hidden potential is there. 4-2 lead now will be the final score of this one. And for ninth, well, you know, <laughs> a little bit more than nine losses now and still no wins on the season. The well, line's so nice, I have to use it twice, but we mentioned the pregame for ninth. It's never good to uh, have a name like that and be lower in the standings than the command. It indicates they are still looking for their first win. Right back to control. General will play this one out to his left. 
Shock bouncing around. Held in. Shock of blocker stop by General. Something Knife has done really well is getting those plays through the middle. They've had a couple opportunities so far here tonight. Knocks across. They score. Just like that, hidden potential, grab the lead. Nick Vets gets the opening goal of this one. And just quick pump movement right there between the three fours of Vets, Shocks, and CT. Just quick pass between the three of them all the way from the neutral zone for the time they entered. Kept it going, and man, if you're a goaltender, you have those three guys in front of you moving the puck between one. It is so hard to be able to make that move. And final pick off there. Let's see what CT can do. Does he have the space? Not. Speed, just not enough. Puck dumped in. Put it back out for a potential down the other way. Let's see what Beds can do as the man across one timer scores. As Shocks finds the back of the net and adds to the hidden potential lead. You know, if you don't have your goaltender on his game, I mean, let's be honest, 2 0 in some ways, it's a little bit of a scoreline. Especially with two guys in Shocks and CT that have played together for so long. So not only do they have that, but they have that rapport with one another. They always know where the other is and what the other is thinking. So it's so easy for them to set up plays. We have a goal there. I mean, Major, no opportunity or time to speak. Knight get on the board. An odd angle shot that finds its way past General. And, well, just like that, they're back in the game. Yeah, it doesn't matter how, as long as that puck goes in the net. That's exactly what happens there for Chiao. Okay, he just kind of puts it on net, takes a favorable bounce, gets past General, and just like in game one, when it looks like hidden potential is able to pull away with this thing and goes up by two, Knight finds a way to just creep themselves back into this thing and keep themselves in striking distance. You have to say, you were in your bag today with some of these references, my friend. Just absolutely throwing them out there left and right, but it wouldn't be surprising at all if Shanks were maybe able to come back and get a goal right here. Look out for him with the setup. Let's just say the coffee's good. It's a blocker save there. Shocks denied yet again. Has an opportunity. Goes to the point. Shot scores. What a snipe. Dings has had a strong effect on this game so far. And now he has one on the scoreboard. Wish we could get another look at it, but it's three to one. Replays. I mean, we just can all telepathically remember exactly what happened frame by frame. Dings with a nice job pushing up to get that, and it looks like hit potential not done. Nearly another chance for him from the left side. Once again, Centerman not finding much luck in this particular matchup. Shocks tries to pick the corner, loose puck bounces all the way to the far side. That one team. What they can do, Shocks. Centerman still down. Nick finally back to his feet, gets the puck, and he scores. Dare I steal the uh, off the floor on the board goal call. Hidden Potential finally finding that extra bit of insurance, but can't find a way to do something else. And how about Vets there, right fresh off the injury, just getting right back up, cutting into the open lane down the middle, and a beautiful job there by Hidden Potential, finding him on that pass, notice he had the space, and Nick Vets, he's been so impressive in these two games. He's been setting up his teammates. Nice to see him be able to get that chance to score himself. See hidden potential. They're up by three. They're not going to let their foot off the gas pedal, but they don't really need to score anymore if they choose not to. Knife, on the other hand, going to have to really find a way to draw some counterattacks. He's waiting for that to best tonight. As a huge mistake there for the ninth netminder. His first real big mistake of this matchup, and hidden potential pour it on. Another goal for CT. Yeah, when you make mistakes, there's not many teams that will make you pay the way that hidden potential will do so, especially with a guy like CT that has been really just money with the puck on his stick so far tonight. Just a little bit of a miscue there in their own end, and when you give that opportunity to hidden potential, like we said, never going to be a good result for you, especially when you're down three and really looking to get yourself back into the playoff hunt. Absolutely. So with that, again, this one seemingly in the book a 5-1 lead for hidden potential and because of the late start maybe not because of the late start to this one i do believe we might potentially step away from this one and indeed we do